The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 is a 2002 American animated romantic musical comedy drama film and direct-to-video sequel to the 1996 Disney animated film The Hunchback of Notre Dame. It was produced by Walt Disney Animation Japan. Unlike many Disney film sequels, almost the entire key cast of the first film returns, aside from Tony Jay, the late Mary Wicks and David Ogden Steers. Plot. Now serving as Paris's captain of the guard under the new Minister of Justice, after the death of the previous one, Captain Phoebus and Esmeralda have married and have a six-year-old son named Zephyr. Quasimodo is now an accepted part of Parisian society, though he still lives in Notre Dame with his gargoyle friends Victor, Hugo, and Laverne, and still serves as the cathedral's bell ringer. A circus troupe led by Sarouch enters town as part of Le Jour de Mort, a day dedicated to the celebration of strong and pure romantic love and romance between twitterpated and romantically infatuated lovers. However, it is revealed that Sarouch is, in reality, a master criminal who plans to steal Notre Dame's most beloved belle, La Fidel, the inside of which is decorated with gold lining and enormous jewels of various colors. He sends Madeleine, his aspiring assistant, to discover the whereabouts of La Fidel. She encounters Quasimodo without seeing his face, and the two of them seem to get along quite well despite having just met. But she runs away after seeing his face, shocked at his grotesque hideous appearance. The gargoyles convince Quasimodo to go to the circus to see her again. Sarouche captures the audience's attention when he makes an elephant disappear, while his associates steal from the audience. Sarouche forces Madeleine to follow Quasimodo and obtain the information he wants. At first she tries to persuade Sarouche not to do so, but he reminds her of her background. Years ago, when Madeleine was only a six-year-old little girl, Sarouche caught her trying to steal coins from him. But instead of turning her over to the cruel Frollo, Sarouche took her under his wing out of sympathy. She follows Quasimodo and Zephyr, and sees them spend the afternoon playing together. Eventually, the exhausted little boy falls asleep in Quasi's arms. Realizing that Quasimodo possesses a kind and gentle nature, Madeleine ceases to be frightened by his hideousness and ugliness. Quasimodo takes her around Paris, and shows her numerous sights. Later, while Quasimodo is out with Madeleine, Sarouch and two of his subordinates sneak into the cathedral. Zephyr and Jarley the goat follow them and watch as Sarouch causes La Fidel to vanish. Hearing the sound, Quasimodo and Madeleine rush back. When the Archdeacon informs everyone that La Fidel has been stolen, Clopin claims that if they do not find the bell, the festival will be ruined. Phoebus suddenly realizes that Sarouche was behind the whole thing and played him for a fool. He sends the soldiers all over Paris to find Sarouche. Realizing now that Madeleine has deceived him, Quasimodo angrily breaks off the relationship and tells Phoebus that he was right before running off into the cathedral. Feeling heartbroken and betrayed, feeling sorry for Quasimodo, Phoebus has the guards arrest Madeleine for her involvement in the theft. Sarouche and his men attempt to escape with the bell through the catacombs, taking Zephyr as hostage. Phoebus, Esmeralda and Quasimodo, aided by Madeleine, catch up with him. Sarouche almost escapes by threatening Zephyr, but Madeleine uses her high-wire skills to rescue Zephyr, and Sarouche and his men are captured for their crimes. At the festival, Hugo finally wins the heart of his longtime crush, Esmeralda's pet goat Jolly, after years of pestering him. A number of romantic couples proclaim their equally strong and pure romantic feelings and love for each other while Quasi rings the bell. But then the bell falls silent when Madeleine shows up in the bell tower. Having forgiven her, Quasimodo proclaims his deep and true romantic love feelings for Madeleine and they share their first romantic kiss while Zephyr rings La Fidel. Ending the film. Voice cast. Tom Hulce as Quasimodo, Jennifer Love Hewitt as Madeleine, Michael McKean as Sarouche.
Demi Moore as Esmeralda, Kevin Klein as Captain Phoebus, Haley Joel Osment as Zephyr, Paul Candle as Clopin, Charles Kimbra as Victor, Jason Alexander as Hugo, Jane Withers as Laverne, Jim Cummings as the Archdeacon, April Winchell as Lady Deburn, Joe Lala as Guard One, Release. As announced on August 18, 2000, the film was originally going to be released on VHS and DVD on August 28, 2001. However, the release date was moved to March 19, 2002 to coincide with the VHS DVD release of the original film. Reception The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 received negative reviews from film critics. The film currently bears a 30% on review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes, with an average rating of 3.6-10. Critics panned the film for the poor quality of the animation in comparison to that of the original, the lighter tone, the original songs, the absence of religious themes from the original, the plot hole-ish story, the new characters being bland and annoying as well as the weaker villain in Sarouche as opposed to Frollo. DVD Active said it was an unusually chintzy production, noting, the characters are slightly off-model, their movements are stilted, optical zooms are used in place of animated camera moves, animation cycles are overused, and painted highlights float around between frames. It compared it to the company's television shows, adding it looks cheap, old, and awful. It concluded by saying, it is mercifully short, under an hour without credits. High Def Digest said, there's really no point in wasting your time watching this subpar sequel of an already ho-hum movie, rating it 1.5 stars. Pop Matters notes, The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2 both addresses and cheapens the previous movie's notes of melancholy, as it sets about finding Quasimodo a romantic partner. DVD Talk says, The story, somehow stretches what might have once been a 12-minute segment of the Smurfs to over an hour, and concludes that, The whole thing has the awful feel of a cash grab. Songs Le Jour de Mort, written by Randy Peterson and Kevin Quinn, performed by Jason Alexander, Tom Hulce, Paul Candle, Charles Kimbra and Jane Withers. An Ordinary Miracle, written by Walter Edgar Kennan, performed by Tom Hulce, I'd Stick With You, written by Walter Edgar Kennan, performed by Tom Hulce and a Haley Joel Osment. F.A. La 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 Fallen in Love, written by Walter Edgar Kennan, performed by Jason Alexander, Charles Kimbra and Mary J. Clough. I'm Gonna Love You, written by Jennifer Love Hewitt and Chris Canute, performed by Jennifer Love Hewitt.